fondly called as Bihana Didi or Seed Lady by local communities in Odisha, Indian agriculture scientist Swati Nayak became the third Indian agriculture scientist to win the prestigious Norman Borlaug Field Award 2023. The Norman Borlaug Field Award is presented by the World Food Prize Foundation in memory of Nobel awardee Dr. Norman Borlaug for outstanding achievements in international agriculture and food production by individuals under 40. Nayak speaks to Business Line about the importance of the award, her work with the agricultural community and more. Uh, this is indeed a moment of pride for me. Uh, for me, my organization, International Rice Research Organization, the CGIR, and uh, my entire agriculture fraternity, my family and friends, uh, that I am able to represent my country, uh, my state where I belong to Odisha, uh, my region of South Asia, uh, including the countries where I work very closely like Bangladesh, Nepal, uh, and overall, uh, the young women scientists of the globe. Uh, and uh, I think uh, uh, this is one such rare, uh, you know, recognition to young scientists uh, working in the field of agriculture or similar. Uh, and uh, if I am getting this, uh, I'm getting a platform and opportunity to put my voice louder. Uh, also, my uh, showcase the work which I have been doing on ground, on field, as a field scientist. As I said that, uh, you know, uh, it's a process, it's a journey. Uh, whatever work I did uh, with the community directly on field, with the farmers, to, you know, scale or deliver uh, many climate resilient uh, varieties or technology or uh, the quality seeds to, you know, work with community hand in hand to uh, empower them in terms of having their uh, localized knowledge and access to inputs or enterprise development. So those are the models which, uh, you know, uh, I, you know, have been working wonders for many smallholder farmers and uh, as much as technology, so many technology and uh, new methods and approaches are developed until and unless that reach to the end users or become accessible, then there is no point of investing so much of, uh, in uh, science innovation. So I work in that space, technology transfer space. I consider myself as you know, somebody who is working as a delivery or scale, science of scaling. Um, and uh, I really want to position that fraternity, that work, how critical that is in the field of agriculture science. I have dedicated this hour to a uh, all the fraternity of agriculture extension, uh, the people of uh, you know the people who are involved in technology transfer, the scaling agents, the people who work in field field science, uh, and uh, often we bracket them. I don't know whether it is a right terminology or not, but often we bracket them as like you know the so-called downstream scientists who work and the chain uh, like you know which is more closer to the farmers or stakeholders and etc and then we bracket uh, you know a lot of scientists who are the, working in the genes genomes uh, breeding and all those as the upstream science but uh, to be honest and i should give this credit to my institution international rice research Organ uh, institute that uh, a few years back through our leadership vision and everything we actually have created a very strong integrated model that how the science or the innovation that is coming out of from upstream research is reaching to the end users through the downstream scientists and uh, you'll be surprised to know that i am part of iris rice breeding innovation team and i work on everyday basis with lot of breeders and I sit on the same table in the same discussion where they are conceptualizing what to develop or what to breed and my feedback is respected uh, that what farmers want or what stakeholders want and then like you know uh, how I want to take and evaluate independently with the stakeholders irrespective of who has bred this variety or what type of this variety and then accordingly popularize and etc. So uh, that whole integrated picture is necessary in our uh, even 
national systems the way we see the picture because we have to close the gap we have to make sure whatever we are developing that has to go to the end users I personally feel uh, there remains a lot of scope and opportunity to really revisit our curriculum the way it is designed, uh, especially agriculture extension part. I I am especially I can vouch for that that um, uh, how we try to include you know different methodology approaches or give exposure to our young students and etc. So there remains a lot of scope to revisit the curriculum and uh, you know. Um, start from there like you know where you are breeding or you are developing the future scientists or you know um, experts